In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use styles with scenes. What we first need to make sure is that when we, whenever we create a scene or update a scene, we want SketchUp to warn us that the styles have changed. So on a Mac, you go to SketchUp, then Preferences. On a Windows computer, you go to Window, Preferences. And then once you're in the System Preferences, go to General. And you want to ensure that warns, Warn of Style Changes when creating scenes is ticked. So tick on that. Next, I want you to go to the Scenes dialog, which is on the default tray. If your default tray is not showing, you can find it under Window Default Tray. And just make sure that Scenes is active. Expand Scenes and then click on the plus button to create a new scene. As you can see, Scene 8 was created. Next, we're going to click on the Hidden Line button or the uh, hidden line style and we're going to click on the plus button in the scenes dialog again and you can see now we're getting uh, a warning that the style has changed so we would like to save it as a new style and then click create scene and you'll get scene 9 so if you flick between scene 8 and scene 9 you can see it's obviously a different style Okay, so I'd like you to create a, a few more scenes. So maybe you just change a view like that and click on Add. And we change our view just so we've got a few different perspectives of the model. And Add. Okay, so basically from scene 9 to 12, we're sharing the same style. Scene 8 was a different style because it had uh, shaded with textures so if we go back to scene 9 you can see that it's a hidden line image um, but we've got a background image in, in there which we may not actually want for this particular style so if we go to the styles we can go to the edit tab we can then go to the watermark settings we can select the background image that was applied to this background and then we can delete it Yes, we want to permanently delete it. Okay, then if we go to the background settings here, you can see that the background is white. There's no sky on, so the style's now been changed. So then, what we need to do now is essentially update the style, because if we don't update the style, it will revert back to where it was. So you can see on the right-hand side, we've got a big recycle button. Um, we can either click on the update button here which will update the style or we can right click on the scene and select update and receive another warning so we get the option again to save it as a new style or if we select update the selected style that may be a better option because scenes 9 10 11 12 are sharing the same style and if we go update scene now scene 10 11 and 12 all have the same style changes Okay, so let's say we want to go and edit one of our other views. So let's go to the 3D view, for example. This already has a, a background image. Um, so again, if we wanted to remove that background image so we can add a new one, we could select the watermark under Styles, Edit, then go to the watermark settings, select it, delete, using the minus button, and then yes, we want to delete it. We could then click on the Add Watermark button to add our own custom uh, style and I'll just quickly find it okay so under the training notes 2 under extra tutorials you can find a background image uh, it actually looks like the same one but it'll be good to just reinsert that we can now select open and we don't want to use it as an overlay so let's select background then we're going to go next and we want the image blend not to be translucent so we're going to make sure it's, you know, full image. Go next again. Stretch to fit the screen um, is definitely the best option if you want to use that as a background image. You've got different options for like tiling, so you might just use your logo repetitively in the background, uh, or you may just want to position the background image or image 
in a certain spot in the screen. But for a background image, we're going to select stretch to fit and we're going to unlock the aspect ratio so that it fits the screen. And then we can select finish. Then we need to click on the plus button again because we want to add a logo. And we're going to go into extra tutorials again and select the SketchUp logo and select open. This time it's going to be an overlay because we want it to be a, your company logo, for example, in the foreground. Go to next. Um, you can choose to have it transparent if you like, if you don't want it to be too obtrusive. Um, but we can also change it again later if need be. So we can go next. We want it positioned on screen and we want it down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, and you can play around with the scale as well if need be. Finish. So, like before, we've changed the style, so we're getting the recycle button up on the style there. And unless we press the update button here, or right click and then select update, um, the scene won't remember those changes. So we need to ensure that we update the style and select update scene. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Um, again, if you wanted to modify that style, you could select the watermark and then go to settings and you can just still play around with the position of the logo even after um, you've created the style. So let's say for example that we've, we go to scene 12 and um, we wanted to use one of our pre-existing styles. You could go to the select tab, then go to the in model and it will show you all the styles that we've already used in this particular file. So I could choose the default style top view 4 for example and it would automatically go and find uh, that style and just apply it. But it won't remember the style change unless we update the scene. So if I clicked on scene 12 right now it just fades back to the style that was already associated with the scene. So you need to click on the style so that you apply it then you need to right click and update the scene so that it sticks to the scene. So then if you go to scene 11 then back to 12 you can see that in the in model here the little blue outline is changing between styles. So again one more time let's say we wanted to reapply that style to scene 11 as well. I click on the style right click and update the scene and then it will remember that um, for that scene. Also, I just wanted to point out under scenes, whenever you create scenes, you can save certain properties with those scenes. So, for example, if you uh, realigned your axis to be on a specific angle, the axis would be remembered by the scene. It remembers shadow settings, um, things like hidden geometry, and it's really helpful for just um, saving certain properties when you create scenes.